Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hello everyone, this is Sam Mowers here and welcome to episode 623 of the Crypto Corner podcast. For news today, SoftBank has invested $200 million into a Series B for Brazil's Mercado Bitcoin exchange. T0 has partnered with NYCE Group and Equinox has reported its financial results for fiscal 2021. But just before we get into the news today, a quick reminder that if you enjoyed this podcast, please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com. This includes the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, the Cannabis Podcast, as well as many others, all of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. All right, so SoftBank Group, which trades on the OTC under the ticker symbol SFTBY, has invested $200 million dollars in a Series B round for Brazilian Bitcoin exchange Mercado Bitcoin, according to Coindesk. This is the largest Series B round in Latin American history, as well as SoftBank's largest investment in a Latin American crypto company. SoftBank Group CEO Marcelo Clor said, quote, We've been impressed by 2TM Groups, that's Mercado Bitcoin's parent company, understanding of the Brazilian ecosystem as well as their contribution to the evolving regulatory framework in Brazil, all of which have positioned it at the forefront of the Latin American blockchain revolution and as a defining player in the cryptocurrency explosion in Brazil. End quote. T0, the blockchain arm of Overstock, which trades on the NASDAQ as OSTK, has partnered with real estate crowdfunding fintech firm NYCE Group, Inc. The latter was founded by FC Barcelona soccer player Martin Braithwaite and entrepreneur Philip Michael with the aim of creating 100,000 millennial high-net-worth stakeholders of color by 2030 through access to its robust real estate portfolio. The partnership is intended to digitize approximately $18 million of equity interest in NYCE once they are issued, subject to regulatory approvals in the company's upcoming Regulation a offering. Philip Michael, the CEO of NYCE, said, quote, Through our partnership with the leader in liquidity for digital securities, T0, we are excited to provide investors with liquidity optionality. End quote. Equonex Group, which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol EQOS, recently rebranded from Diginex Limited, has reported its financial results for the fiscal year ended March 31st, 2021. Highlights include its being the first company with a cryptocurrency exchange to be listed on the NASDAQ in October 2020, and a balance sheet of $52.1 million with no interest-bearing debt as of March 31, 2021. The company's CEO, Richard Byworth, said, quote, This was a watershed year in which we launched our core business line, the Equinex Cryptocurrency Exchange, and became the first company with a cryptocurrency exchange to list on NASDAQ. We devoted substantial time and resources towards bootstrapping volumes on Equinex Exchange, to a level where we can begin generating revenue at the very tail end of fiscal year 2021. While daily trading volumes grew to $15.9 million U.S. by March 2021, we've seen this significant growth trend continue with daily volumes reaching in excess of $180 million in June 2021 month to date, a significant portion of which are fee-paying volumes. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, 
Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Google Play Music, and most audio platforms available.